this is uh, not just an equestrian story. This is a story about love, about trust. I lost that trust at a very young age when I fractured my L1 from a racing, bolting horse that never stopped. Doctors were telling me, preparing me, uh, that I might not go back, you know, as healthy and painless as thankfully it turned out to be. That dream of a girl and a unicorn that horse lovers, I think, dream about growing up, uh, it definitely got broken. <sighs> but not enough to take away the love of my life. This uh, special connection and a need to be with animals, and that is since I was born. Even though life brought me to a different artistic career that I love very much, uh, I always had an animals in my life, uh, and thank God horses uh, are one of them. Horses are my life. One day someone crossed my path, and it didn't take me long to realize we both had some things in common. That was Coco. He was uh, caring so much. Really. I think that anyone with a, the minimal horse sense or, I don't know, human sense would uh, feel that. A rough start and a type of training that only left one thing in his mind and body fear. I didn't know where this was going, but I couldn't look into those eyes without falling in love. Every time. Coco saw me belonging to a world he didn't remember as a happy one. The humankind. We went very close to some bad failing. I believe someone from above helped. I wanted to know everything about him. And uh, at times, I couldn't help it but tearing up. Couldn't, I couldn't wave to someone. I couldn't grab anything from my pocket. I was scared. I was scared to make mistakes. And I was about to let him go. A few times I thought... I I wasn't good enough. I wasn't good enough to fix this. But, but I was never able to quit. I was never able to let him go. His insecurity reminded me of mine in where some life events left their scars, mistrust. Of course, after falling into the trap of the ego and the horse training, uh, my heart told me to stop. To stop and wait. Wait for him to join up. And he did. And when I really started listening, he began to tell me his story. Everything talked about a trauma and of course a rushed, rushed uh, beginning for him. So after a while working with him, um, I decided to capture the very first times of uh, each important step of our journey. To forever remember this. More than defining myself a horse trainer, I like to call myself a horse person. This was a project that felt bigger than me. I always wanted to start my own horse, but fixing this one, it had bigger value for me. Uh, it had, uh, it needed bigger skills. 
it wasn't about proving that I can help a horse. It was about more like I really didn't want this horse to end up in the wrong hands again. That was what it was about for me. Cook and I had the same chance at the same time. We both thought we weren't good enough. He knew that. That I was trying to put the pieces together for both of us. And uh, giving him the love he deserved. I didn't know where it was going, but I knew it was going somewhere for one of us or both of us. Some people were wondering how two similar souls would end up together. And some of them were just seeing this special bond between us. And that's what was important. I think you have to be lucky enough to have it or to desire it so much that God is going to give it to you. The biggest reward to be able to say, I've done this, he helped me, and I was able to help him. The liberty work was definitely the biggest door for him to trust me. It's a process of patience that he taught me. It's a process. Finally, he, he accepted me. I was his friend. That special bond I was looking for goes beyond the riding training. I don't know what's the right word. It's, uh, it's, when, uh, it's when the horse sees you as a horse. You are the lead horse. That's what I look for. That's what I like. That's what I, that's what I want. I wanted one thing for us the ultimate relationship that we both needed. He's definitely one of the best life projects ever happened to me. See, I thought I was fixing a horse, but the truth is that he was fixing my broken heart. I will thank Coco forever for choosing me for showing me that we were enough and for being my trainer of patience and mentor of trust. Horses are a mirror for so many people. We both happened to each other. We both could have given up at any time. And just like a true love story, thank God we didn't.